All right, we're going to talk a little bit about infield play today. Uh, a couple things. Let's start just first before the pitch. I think this is important. Um, we want to start, we want to get our feet moving. One of the most important things about infield play is to move your feet. So before the pitch, we kind of time it up. we got a right step, left step, and then kind of a little hop. So we're going to go right, left, and a little hop. And that gets us ready and gets our feet ready to move uh, so we can move around in the infield. Your feet are, everybody talks about hands and stuff, but your feet are very important in the infield. So that's, that's our ready position and gets us, gets us really ready to move. Um, next we'll go to just fielding a ground ball. And I think the best drill you can do is have a friend um, or a coach stand about 10 feet from you and throw you just little short one hoppers. And so we're going to work on kind of just going out and get it. So going like this, like this, like this, like that. Imagine that's the ball coming in. So just short one hoppers and it gets our hands moving and going attacking the baseball. Everybody, sometimes we hear that we want to kind of field in like this. Well, sometimes it's best to go out and get balls. So even we can do it with backhands, we can practice. where so the ball comes in and we go out and get backhands. Not always like this go out and get balls, stick them in your glove. That's, that's a very important, that's an easy drill to do that you can do with a friend. Just stand about 10 feet apart, throw nice short hops to each other. Basically ground, all ground balls are, are just little short hops. So that's a real good way you can practice without actually having a fungo hitter and, and, and having a whole field. You can just do it in your backyard, real simple. Soup Sports Grill, best place to see the biggest game in town.